Sophia now, going to go to the warehouse, and this is literally like the longest walk ever. I think this is the most exercise I've done all day. We're just walking through the showroom. I haven't even got to the actual aisle where the stuff is that I'm gonna get. So I will see you guys when I'm back in my room with all my stuff. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Nell Diamond, and today's video I'm going to be assembling my new vanity. Yes, I know, basic. I went and got the IKEA Alex Lemon table set up, so the drawers and the table, you know the drill. So that is what I'm going to be assembling in this video. Now, I had a vanity before this, and just like the material that it was made out of just didn't really go well with the concept of a vanity so anytime I like spilled anything like foundation or accidentally got like lip gloss or something on the table it just like the stain just like wouldn't come out so needed a new vanity so that something that I can like wipe off and clean if I like get makeup on the counter or whatever so that's why I went ahead and bought this one I am gonna be reusing the old one in my office I guess you can call it an office um, so yeah, I'm going to be decorating that now that I finally have moved that into that space. So if you guys want to see like an office tour or a vanity tour or a room tour or whatever, just let me know down below in the comments and I'm going to get started assembling this vanity table. Hopefully I can do it by myself. <laughs> I don't know. It's just me and my toolbox. So we'll see how this goes. Now I got the Alex 5 drawer and then the Linman tabletop. So I have two, two Alex 5 drawers and then one lemon tabletop I think it's like 59 inches or something like that I can't remember exactly what the dimensions are I'll link it down below in the description so this box is really really heavy I don't even know where to begin with this stuff I've never assembled anything from Ikea ever before in my life and I've heard that Ikea directions are like impossible so wish me luck guys let's hope this goes well let's get into it
and that is the final product guys so overall it took me about an hour to do each drawer and then the table you literally just sit on top although that did take me maybe like 15 minutes to get like the drawers lined up in like the right spacing so that it'll sit on it right there is a little bit of an extra space at the back um, so the table itself does kind of stick off the end of the drawers, which is fine because I have my table up against a wall But just keep that in mind that if you don't plan on having your table up against a wall There is going to be some extra space on one end or the other or you can kind of center it so that there is space on both ends Like it just depends on how you want to do it if I ever wanted to use this vanity Not against the wall like if I wanted to move it to a different room or set my room up completely different Where maybe it's in like the middle of the room or just somewhere where it's not against the wall when I put my mirror, which is pretty heavy, on the back of that table, it might flip over just because of that extra space. And there's no um, nuts or bolts or screws or anything holding the table to the drawers. It literally is just sitting on the drawers. That's, that's how it's designed to work. Um, so when I put my mirror on there, because it's against the wall, the wall is kind of supporting it. So it's not going to fall over. At least I hope it won't. I haven't put it up there yet. But I don't think it's going to fall over. But if I were to put this table in the middle of the room, say, and then put my mirror on there, that extra space is just going to like flip out. Like the whole table and the mirror and everything is just going to flip over. So I did buy an extra leg so that in the event that I do want to uh, move things around and put it somewhere where it's not going to be against the wall, I do have a leg that I can drill on. Well, I'm not drilling anything, but someone will drill that leg on. And I think the leg was like maybe $5 or something wasn't that bad. But I just want to throw that in there. This table does extend past the drawers. Like it's not a perfect match size wise. You can buy an extra leg and just drill it on there so that that leg will kind of, oh, that looked, that looked really bad. <laughs> but that leg will kind of like stabilize the table itself so that it won't tip over if you put something like a mirror on top of it. I needed more space. The one that I had had like maybe one drawer but there literally was just one drawer so I didn't really have much space to store anything so a lot of my makeup was sitting on top of my vanity so it was very cluttered so now that I have this I have a lot more drawer space like a ton of drawer space I think that after putting everything in the drawers I think I'm only using four out of the 10 drawers that I have so obviously I mean as my makeup collection grows I will probably be able to use more of this space but it's really nice that I have like a cluttered vanity obviously I haven't put my vanity back together yet but because I have so much more space now it won't look as cluttered with everything up there and there's a lot of things that were up there that I can now put in drawers so so if you're wondering about like difficulty level like this wasn't really hard to do really at all this was the first time I had ever built anything from Ikea this is the first thing I've ever purchased from Ikea um, so it wasn't really difficult to make it did take me like I said an hour per drawer so altogether this whole process took me about maybe two and a half hours altogether um, and I did this completely by myself so maybe if I had like an extra hand or something it would have taken me a lot less time obviously to have put all this together literally from scratch like nuts and bolts and just pieces of wood like I think that, that is pretty good the directions were pretty easy to follow so if you're wondering about that I would say it's not it's not too difficult some of the pictures were a little funny like some of like the screws look similar so like when I did the first drawer I was using like the wrong screw and then when I would go to do another part I was like oh that screw goes to this so then I would have to like go back and undo something I think what definitely help for me anyway speeding up the process was I went through all the like little nuts and bolts and screws and things and I took them all out as you saw in the beginning and I separated them just so that when it was time to use them I knew where they all were and I wasn't like digging through a pile or digging through a bag of like an assortment of screws not rocket science but just thought I'd throw that out there and that is the end of this video guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did give it a big thumbs up make sure you like this video I will leave all the information for these different items down below in the description box in case you want to check them out for yourself if you have any questions be sure to comment them down below and if you are not subscribed make sure you subscribe hit that red subscribe button down below I make new videos every Thursday and I will see you guys in my next video